Yo, what's up, MG fam? Welcome back to another episode of the Furman Paladins Team Builder Dynasty here on NCAA Football 14. So I know it's been a week or so, man. Had to, you know, refill the vault with some vids, man. Coming back at you guys. So this week, we will be facing the Texas State guys. They're 3-1 currently. And we finally took a loss our second of the season last week in a double overtime heartbreaker. But we're going to shift our focus to our next opponent. Let's check out how these guys are going to match up against us. So for Texas State, their focus is on the offensive side. It's been like that for the past few years. And defensively, they're lacking, man. They're lacking a C plus, and we're a B minus on defense. We also have a couple of top notch guys coming in this week. And if you take a look at the stats here, Texas State, you know, they're pumping out some yardage on that offensive side of the ball. They're 68 in total offense. Their rush offense is pretty good, top 70. Pass offense is pretty good also. But their total defense, man, top 20 in the nation. So they're going to give us a fight, but I believe we have enough power on the defensive side to come out with a victory. So you guys know how our schedule fared out, man. Our first loss of the season to Bama. And that last week loss, Manny, double overtime to Arkansas State. And our focus is now shift on Texas State. And we're looking to run the tables for the rest of the season. We're not looking to take another loss here. So on Texas State side, they only lost to Eastern Michigan, man. FIU, they took care of those guys by five points. And also took care of Appalachian State, who is a team that I thought was going to be one of the top teams in the conference. So you can check out Robbie Clark's stats so far, man. Still struggling, having a, you know, tough start of the season. He's able to get almost 1,500 yards for his 8 TDs and 11 interceptions. And Palmer, he's running the ball pretty well, but we're going to start, you know, my boy Hulk this week. And on Texas State side, you can see their quarterback, you know, he's doing what he has to do. He is a more of a dual threat quarterback, and he's going to be able to dink and dunk and also, you know, move around and get a couple of rushing yards. And their running game is pretty tight also. And you can check out the guys that are visiting us today. The visiting prospects, our top prospect coming in is John Morris, number 17 running back. Man, he's coming out here, four-star kid. And also has Steven Dennis coming also, another top-notch receiver. And you know we can't forget about the defensive side. So their top players on Texas State is Twyford. He's an 89 overall. And Jordan, their center, he's an 88 overall. So we are ready to get to it, baby. So let's go head down to the Paladin Stadium and check out what's going to go down against the Texas State Bobcats. So you can see, man, we out here with the white helmets on purple tops, yo. It's raining for us. It's raining, but we're used to it. Down here in the southeast, hey, muggy weather, raining. Hey, we can handle it, bro. So you can see the standards in the Sun Belt. We got knocked down to the fourth spot in Texas State. Hey, they're holding the top spot right now, but we're looking to shake things up by handing these guys their first loss in the conference. So now for kickoff, we're ready to get it, baby. And the ball is up in the air, and let's get it, baby. A start to another great day of Paladins football. Let's go. So Twyford will take it out of the end zone, and, man, he finding some room. But, hey, we're there. 33-yard return for him, but we're looking to, you know, put a hush up on this kid today. So Keyshawn Kelly coming out. He's a senior, man. I remember his freshman year. He actually was one of the top freshmen when he first started here at Texas State. And he's going to hand it off to Nelson there and a nice tackle there in the backfield. Early big tackle from Damian Sawyer. So coming out on defense, man, our key is to, you know, neutralize the quarterback, man. Cause the offensive line some havoc. And if we can do that, hey, I believe we have this game in the bag. And you can see here the offensive line is shook already, and that's a false start. So we're going to send some pressure from the edge here from the safety. He's going to audible out of it, though. And Kelly drops back. Oh, man, a nice screenplay for Nelson, but we're on top of it. Big Curtis able to get on top of that screenplay and force him to a negative one-yard gain. So third and 18. I don't believe they got enough horses to get 18 yards here. And he overthrows the receiver, and Nelson not able to bring it in. And we're going to get the ball here on our first drive. 
The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive. Coming out, man. We're going to run our favorite play. Nice pass to Tutton. To Tutton's finding some room to the edge. And that will be a seven yard gain. So we're going to try to mix things up here to start to get this team off balance. And we're going to hand the ball off to Hawkins here. And Hawkins on his first start of the season, and he gets blowed up there. He loses one yard. So third and four. We're going to have to convert on our third downs today to, you know, give ourselves a chance to come out with a victory. And Clark drops back, and that pass was way off. But, hey, we got another chance to fight next drive. But let's get on defense and do our thing. Second and eight here on their second drive of the game. Kelly drops back. He finds Fiener out there, and we miss a tackle, two tackles. And can we get this fumble, baby? And yes, sir, the senior safety able to script that one loose, and Holland is moving, baby. Can you get to the end zone? No, sir, but we'll take it down. First turnover of the day. Our first turnover of today. Let's get it. Coming off of the big script fumble, man, we got to get some points on the board. This is when you got to strike at a defense. And Smith able to reel that one in, breaks a tackle, and that will be only four yards. But, hey, positive yards, we'll take them. So we're going to run a draw play here, try to catch him off guard. And he hands it off, and Hawkins is having a hard time getting the ball past the line of scrimmage today. So we're going to come out here on third and eight. Let's see if we can mix him up with a motion from Tuttons. So I can see the safety is showing here. Tuttons. Can we find him? And he launches this one. And oh my goodness, all the way in the back of the end zone. Not a great pass from my boy Clark. So here in the second quarter, Kelly will come out in the shotgun. And he hands off to Nelson who finds some room. And that's a big 10-yard rush. But they'll be short of the first down. So he coming out of the gun again, man. Double tights this time, though. And he's going to hand it off the fender. I believe that's a fullback. And he's making his way through there. That's an eight-yard rush. And these guys will get another set of downs. So, man, they got a funky set up there in the backfield. Nelson in motion. And look at Kelly. Finds Fenner, man. Fenner is becoming a key point to this offense to start the game, man. We focusing on the running back and the quarterback. But the fullback is making his way through here, baby. So second and inches here, hands off to Nelson, finds some room. He makes his way all the way to the 10-yard line. That was a big rush for the first down. So fakes the handoff, Kelly, and he got some room to the edge, and that will be the first touchdown of the game. Hey, we got to do better at reading those read options, man. We know this kid is a great dual threat. So here at the next kickoff, got my boy Gerald Brown back there. See if we can make something happen, baby. So Gerald kicks it to the edge. Nice blocking, and he can probably go all the way, man. But he's getting trailed by number 31, and he falls out of bounds. 59-yard return. Hey, that's a great start to a new drive. So Clark finds Smith again. Similar play from the first time, and he's able to get eight yards on that reception. So we're going to run a little, you know, play action fake here. Maybe we can catch this defense biting, bro. And he fakes it there, and Clark gets killed, man. They swept that kid up for the sack. So 39, man. We might find Day across the middle. He's known to make big catches for us early in the game. And yes, sir, there we go, baby. Nice way to extend and get that catch. First and 10, we still have a chance to get a score. And Robbie drops back. The pressure is coming. But look at there. He finds Hines. Can he break a tackle and get it to the end zone? And, man, he falls down at a three-yard line. Big 23-yard reception. So we're going to run a little, you know, a little option play here. See what Tutton's got. And Tutton's going to hold it here in his first carry of today. And that's a four-yard TD. Tutton's able to do anything for us, man. Whatever you need, coach, he got it. Wide out, can run the ball, catch the ball, do whatever you need of him. So they're going to come out here with 22 seconds left in the second quarter, man. Let's see what we can do. So Kelly drops back. And, oh, man, we on top of Nelson there, man. We're not letting you get away with that easy of a pass, bro. Let's go. So six seconds left. Kelly drops back. He's going to probably launch this one. And can we get a pick? Oh, my goodness. Holland almost had his hands on an interception. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. 
Okay, two seconds left here. Four for 17. Man, you know he launched this one up. He takes a shot to the end zone. I think we got the numbers. And look at Gerald Brown able to pull it in, baby. Can you make something happen? And Gerald's finding some room, bro. Go, go. The junior Juco player is doing his thing, man. We got to integrate this kid into the offense somehow. He's an athlete. But, hey, he can do it all. Both sides of the ball. We might have to utilize him a little more. So, after halftime, it's the third quarter. Seven minutes and 52 seconds left. We got it here, baby. Both sides. Seem to know what to expect. And Robbie drops back, and he finds Brown there. Big grab and able to get out of bounds. So Clark, can you get something established here on the first drive? And he finds Tuttons there. Tuttons runs over one guy. That's what I'm talking about. Lowering that shoulder, young fella. Do your thing. Tuttons is looking to have a breakout game here soon. I think he's finally feeling it. And we got Gerald Brown in the backfield now, baby, the athlete. And he cannot get the first down. So we're going to try to put him in the backfield at wide out sometime in some formations. Just to give this offense a different look, man. And look at Bush, the third screen back, able to find some room to the edge. And that's a big game for first down. First down. And a fake handoff here from Robbie. And can we get to the end zone? Robbie able to get us eight yards on that carry. We got Palmer in the backfield. And he takes the draw play. And that's looked like six, baby. Six points for us. And, man, we're going to go ahead here in the third quarter with a one-touchdown lead. So you already know Texas State is not going away, man. These guys are not going away. Out of the gun is Kelly again. And they got Nelson in motion. You know, that read option is their thing. And look at Nelson. Found some room. Nine yards on that one, man. We got to keep our eyes on that read option. It's kind of tricky at times. So in motion is a tight end. Let's see what they got going. He fakes it. And yes, sir, we there, baby. Big hit from Sawyer. Able to get that tackle in the backfield. Third and four. We can get a stop here, man. We can get great field position. So hand out to Nelson, and man, he found his way up in there for six yards. So we're going to see some blitz from the safety. Yes, sir, you can see Gerald's right there on defense, too, just like we said, baby. Fake the handoff. Look at Gerald coming to it. Almost had him, but look at Kelly finds the edge, and man, that could be six if we can't get to it. Come on, Kobe, get him. Yes, sir, able to get on to him. That's a big rush for these guys they're killing us on the offensive side man doubling our output in yards seem like so let's go defense see if we can get a stop a turnover will be big and he hands it off to twyford there twyford and he's going to the end zone on a similar play that we got these guys tricked out on with tuttons bro twyford a top player able to get these guys back into this thing so man we here threaten to score also with five minutes left in the fourth quarter and we got Mark Boyd in there right now. And he finds Brown to the edge. And that's a nice pass. We're going to give him a shot, man. See if Mark Boyd can bring us back, man. And he finds Palmer here on the screen play. And it looks like a touchdown. And yes, sir, it is, baby. 18-yard reception for Palmer for a big score, baby. And puts us back up by one score. That's what I'm talking about. Mark Boyd is going to take the him here, man. Seems like my boy, Robbie, been struggling. So we're going to give the backup some shine. And that's a big pass, a big catch. And look at Finna breaking tackles. Can we get to him? The big fullback is doing his thing. So these guys are looking to, you know, score again also. So we got to keep our eyes on these running backs and look at them. Number 49 trying to run on a mark that he did. He broke two tackles in good way for Kerry Mason to be able to get out there to get that tackle. So Kelly finds Finner again. I never seen a quarterback that loves to pass to his fullback that much, man. Let's go. So we're going to blitz the cornerbacks here to at least get some pressure on this quarterback. And the read option is there, and, man, he has a wide open field. Breaks one tackle. Breaks two? No. And he goes down, man. 
So they're threatened to score once again, man. We got to keep our eyes on these running backs and quarterbacks. The, he's handing it off. No, and he's going. The blocking is perfect. And look at Kelly making his way to the edge. Runs over Holland. He lowers his shoulder. Oh, my goodness. He lowered his shoulder. You seen that, man. The kid. Hey, he ain't dodged them or anything. And that was a big run. So it's tied up, man. This game is out of control. Seems like we're going to have a dog fight. And Mark Boyd is in there, man. Let's see what Mark got this time. Mark, look at the posture. Look at the poise. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Find Gerald Brown out there on the four-yard reception. But we need a first down here, Mark. Go over the top. Maybe you can catch that safety slip. And Mark, hey. Looking around, and he finds, oh my goodness, look at Smith there. Big grab for Smith. 25-yard reception. Man, Mark Boy looked like he played two or three years already for Furman, bro. This guy's young also. So let's go. So we're going to hand it off to the back here, man. Come on, Big Brown. What you got for us? Watch Brown in the backfield. Athlete kid. We're going to utilize him all over the field. And he finds some room to the edge. And can he get to the end zone? Oh, he took a big hit there. 11 yard rush, we'll take the first down. So he's looking like, hey, he can do anything, man. We gotta put him at wide out maybe next game. I'm gonna see what that looks like. And Palmer's in the backfield. I thought he could get in there for a touchdown, but we'll take it. So we gotta hurry up here. So nine seconds left, we're gonna spike the ball. And yes, sir, my boy, Mark Boy, spikes the ball. And we're gonna go up in the gut right now, baby. Who we gonna give it to? Bush, man, Bush. The third screen running back, what you got for us, baby? And Bush got some room to the edge. And yes, sir, lowered the shoulder and puts us up by another touchdown. Man, Bush, a big clutch touchdown for us. And yes, sir, only thing we're gonna do now is squib kick it here and not give these guys a chance to come back. And the time has expired. And Texas State will walk out here as losers. And Furman, man, another W, a hard-fought win, but we're able to get back into the win column. Following a tough loss last week, Coach McGruff was able to bring the team back to get a victory. So now, man, you already know what time it is. Let's check out the stats. We had two quarterbacks play today, man. Let me know in the comments if y'all guys think we should go with a dual quarterback system or just stick with one quarterback we just only put mark boyd in because you can see robbie struggle here man two interceptions one early and one late in the second half i believe the change was necessary and you know robbie kept getting sacked so much man but he's a great quarterback and i believe these two guys right here may be battling in the future for you know the starting quarterback going into training camp next year we're not sure we're not sold on either one of these guys Let's check out the running game, man. The running game was pretty trash, bro. Pretty trash. Gerald Brown had the most yards on the ground with 14 on five carries. Hawkins, man. We ran the ball with him four times. Only 10 yards. The running game wasn't working for us here early. And we had to keep up with the explosiveness of Texas State. So we had to go to a, you know, passing set. We had to be one dimensional. And you can see... Aaron Smith, 77 total yards of receiving, man. Six reception. He was our best wide out today. Tuttons, he was able to get a, you know, touchdown on the ground, but only four receptions for 38 yards here in this game, bro. And D Brown, it kind of it kind of covered us all over the field. Our defense, you know, stepped up a little bit. But the offense, man, we, we still gotta get it going, man. The quarterback play didn't pick up till late. And on defense. We had, you know, two sacks from Sebastian Rice and one sack from Kerry Mason. I'm surprised that Noah Curtis, you know, the All-American defensive end, man, he's not doing much for us this year. And you can see Gerald Brown got an interception, man. How many times can you say a kid like Gerald Brown played both sides of the ball? He's a junior, and, you know, he does great on both sides. So I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell and also subscribe to the channel if you ain't a part of the MG fam. And you already know what time it is, baby. Let's get it, man.